Welcome to a lesson by the name Judicial President as a source of law, also referred to as case law. Before we commence our lesson, kindly remember to hit the subscribe button so that you will not miss out any of my future content like this. Judicial President can simply be defined as judge made rule and they are held in courts. The judge applies existing principle of law by referring to the previous precedent decision. So the judge referred to a certain case which was determined effectively in order to determine another similar case like that. And the, the decision ruling in the case becomes law binding to other subordinate courts provided it originated from the superior court. So the binding precedent depends on the hierarchy of the courts. So it must come from the high court to the subordinate courts. What are the essentials of a binding judicial precedent? One of them, a decision hierarchy. The precedent must have been from a superior court in the hierarchy to make it bind to another subordinate court. So for a precedent to be binding, it must originate from a superior court to a subordinate court. Legal similarity is another essential of a binding judicial precedent. The legal point at fact must be the same as those covered by the existing precedent for it to be binding. If the precedent fails to be binding, the judge must adopt a distinguished precedent. So in order for a precedent to be applied to another case, the case must be similar. If, if it was a case involving robbery with violence, the case which is determined by that precedent at heart must be based on robbery and violence. Non revised precedent, the decision should not have been revised by another superior court which they relate which they related for a subordinate court to adopt, since revising a precedent the note of a thinking by a superior court. So if a judge make a decision which have been revised by another court, the applying that precedent again, it may result to overthinking or it will be overburdening the judge in determining the case. Jurisdiction. The decision must have been made in the same jurisdiction. If done in another, it is rather to be invalid. So for a judicial president to be legally binding, it must be based on that jurisdiction. So if it, it is based on the Kenyan courts, it must be made in the Kenyan court or the Kenyan jurisdiction. A, juris, uh, a decision made in Uganda or United States cannot be binding in Kenya. So it must originate from a similar jurisdiction, which is recognized by law. Component of a court decision. Legal decision is based on two components. One of them is ratio decide, reason for the decision. It is the legal reasoning of the judge to refer on the ground which he had made his decision. So ratio decide is the point is a statement given by judge. Defending on how he have made a certain decision, we also have another one referred to as obiter dicta, dicta, judged by the way statement. It is a non-legal reasoning where the judge explains the ratio decide statement. This is where the judge defend the, the ratio decide statement through a statement referred to as obiter dicta. Types of judicial precedent, one of them is declaratory precedent. It is where the judge applies an existing rule without extending it, hence declaring the rule and judgment, therefore forming the basis of the declaratory precedent. So this one is so simple, it's where the judge adopt a certain case rule to determine a certain case, original precedent. It is where the court judge judgment does not apply any existing precedent or previous court decision which the court can rely on deciding a particular case, therefore judges deciding the case on general principle. So here is the judge, this is where judge develop a new precedent by not adopting to any precedent which have been recorded by the volume containing the case law. Distinguished precedent, it occurs where the earlier precedent cannot be applied fairly to the case at hand. When applied, it can lead to injustice. Therefore, judge, judges apply a distinguished precedent where the earlier precedents also remain to be a rule. This is where the case at hand may be it, it involved a robbery with violence with murder and other did not involve robbery with violence with murder. So applying the same weight of the precedent to those cases, it will result to injustice. So the judge may be lenient to the accused and choose to adopt choose to adopt a distinguished precedent, overruling precedent. 
it is a rule which have been expressly deprived of the regal effect that makes it cease to have any authority. So of a ruling president is president which have been deprived authority and deprived of the legal effect since it is of a ruling or of a burden to the court and to the accused. Persuasive precedents, these are the decisions which a ratex court may adopt, but it does not follow for instant decision in a subordinate court. So even higher court may be may adopt a persuasive precedent from a subordinate court, but it is not so rigorous binding, but it can be used to determine a certain case in a in a ratex court. Some of the advantages of judicial precedent, one of them is certainty. The decision applies a very high degree of uniformity where every person, either natural or artificial person, can easily understand the rule and effectively predicts its outcome. So, yeah, through use of precedent or case law, you can be able to freely be able to predict a certain outcome of a certain case if it was determined in the particular manner. Flexible flexibility, the rule can be changed easily, especially when applied, it results to injustice, also it can be changed where did arise as to be accommodated in the society. So it is easy, it is very easy to adopt a change in case law as compared to change in statutes. So since when, when forming case law it does not follow a lot of formalities as compared to statutes or act of parliament development, new Judicial precedent can be established or adopted to meet the needs of society. So it is also easy to develop new judicial precedent where needs become in the society, practica practicability, case law are practical since they deal with factual circumstances, since they rule, they are rule fully tested and defect identified and made. So in case of case law or judicial precedent, they have been tested in a certain case. And the outcome have been identified, is defect, have been amended, so it is they are so practical to apply. Disadvantages of judicial precedent. One of the disadvantages of judicial precedents is rigidity. In most case cases, cases are very rigid. Where one rule is laid down, it's uh, laid down is binding even if unjust in nature or simply wrong. So many cases have been recorded in various volumes at once. A precedent is put on the table, it may determine a case that results to injustice of a subtry. Some judges overthink overthinking become of a subtry a subtry, more so when they want to establish a distinguished precedent. So sometimes judges may become of a subtry and want to adopt a new a distinguished precedent in order not to adopt to an, an area precedent. So it can result to injustice, injustice sometimes complex. It is bulk in manner that it, const it is contained to, in too much volume made of a number of cases recorded in different volumes. This is because case rules are developed by time to time, so they are recorded in various volumes, so make the, making them complex. They are recording in many files. Since most judicious, judi judicial systems have not adopted the digitalization of judiciary, so they are, they are many backlog of case law and many precedent which are stored so making it so difficult to apply those precedent through to growth since case law depends on litigation for the rule to emerge hence the litigation tend to be slow and expensive therefore therefore the body of case cannot grow to meet the modernity but it also takes some time to develop a precedent because there must be a quorum when developing a certain precedent the of your gct some who do not want to follow a previous precedent may, may be tempted to draw very fine distinction in order to avoid existing rule, therefore introducing some element of artificiality in the rule. Factor that they can decline authority of precedent. One of them is rest judges. If the numbers of judges is less than the required in the bench or not of recognized merit can render the precedent ineffective. So the number of judge act as, act as the core effect in determining which precedent, if the precedent is binding. If the number of judge when developing a certain precedent or case law does not satisfy the quorum, so the precedent is reader to be null and void. Non unanimous decision, where the decision is not agreed altogether, it reader the case law invalid. 
So if the president was adopted without an, uh, a unanimous decision where all judges have agreed, it can be read out to be invalid. Also, if it, there was a compromised decision, if the decision in court was compromised by any court or judge through a revised president, for instance, in entering court's judgment carried less weight, it rendered the president in, ineffective. So if a judge compromised the effectiveness of the president, it can be it can lead the president null and void and just decision where the decision is not fair in nature as opposed to public policy it can lead the, the decision illegal so unjust decision if the decision which have been adopted by the opinion of expert judges when developing a precedent is identified to be in opposition to public policy so it can be considered now void by the constitution special decision a case law made in special circumstances has a retro authority effect in ordinary circumstances therefore ineffective in nature so if a decision or a case law was adapted in case of an emergency or a special circumstance it cannot be applied again since it was applied during that circumstance so if it is applied can result to a retro a retro authority effect in the ordinary circumstances therefore resulting to ineffective rule Illegal precedent, a decision which was made from a precedent of no recognized authority leader, the case law, ineffective. This can involve precedent made in different jurisdiction, in other jurisdiction, not the jurisdiction which have been recognized by law. For instance, a rule, a precedent which was adopted in Tanzania or Uganda or United States cannot be applied in, it cannot be applied in Kenya if not recognized by law or have not been codified in the statute. Thank you for watching. Kindly remember to hit the subscribe button so that you not miss out any of my future content like this. Thank you.